Hi there. If you're having trouble viewing your smart cart, whether that be the smart cart doesn't show at all, or your theme's native cart is also showing with the smart cart, then you've come to the right spot for some help. Since there are so many different kinds of themes with different settings, we'll go over a couple of scenarios where the smart cart will not appear the way we expect it to. For example, some themes that have their cart type set as page will work seamlessly with our smart cart. Here's an example. We have our smart cart enabled, and if we check our advanced settings, there's no code to help trigger the smart cart. Now, when we go to our store, we'll see that once we click on our cart icon, the smart cart will appear. In some cases, this may not happen on your theme, even if your theme's cart type is set to page. So in this case, if you're unable to get the smart cart to show, we'll have to dig a little deeper into some code. Now, bear in mind, every theme is different. However, the approach to this solution is very similar. First, let's right click and click on inspect. On the right hand side, we have our developer tools. On the top left corner of the developer tools, we'll want to click on this icon in the corner. We'll want to locate our cart icon using that tool. The code that we're looking for should look similar to this following element. This here is an A tag with an href attribute. Once you have located this element, you'll want to grab the class or the classes. Notice how there are multiple class names separated with spaces in between. Let's grab one that looks unique. Let's copy this header icon cart class and save it for later. Let's head back to our smart cart advanced settings. Now, we'll want to write some code in the ready call back here. So repeat after me. Remember that class that we copied earlier? We insert that right in between the parentheses and single quotation marks. When referencing a class, you'll want to use a period right before the name of the class. This code will add a click event on your cart icon. So once your cart icon is clicked on, then Rebuy Smart Cart will show. Now, if you're at this point and you have your Smart Cart, great, that's amazing work. Some themes will work better on the page cart type, while others work better on the drawer type. So if you're still stuck in the scenario where your smart cart and your theme's native cart are showing at the same time, usually in these cases, your theme's cart type is set to drawer. But not to worry. Let's head back to our store and see what the issue is when we have two carts showing. Let's click on our cart icon. You'll notice that the two carts appeared. And it looks like in our case, the native cart is hidden behind the smart cart. Let's try closing our cart here. Now, Let's list out the issues that need resolving. Our theme's native cart is showing when clicking on the cart icon and when closing our smart cart. Not only that, the theme's native cart doesn't close when we close our smart cart. So let's handle these one by one. First, we'll want to make sure the theme's native cart closes when we close our smart cart. If we don't close the native cart, we may run into a couple of issues your theme's dimmed overlay will persist, or you'll be stuck on the page and won't be able to scroll. Now let's do the same thing we did before. Let's open our dev tools and use that tool in the corner to locate the button that allows us to close the theme's native cart. In this case, the element that we're looking for is this button element. In some cases, it may be the A tag. Let's go ahead and grab the button's class. In this case, it's drawer close. Let's head on back to our smart cart settings and we'll want to write some code in the hide callback this time. So repeat after me. The code above will allow the smart cart to close the native cart when we hide the smart cart. Let's save our settings and see it in action. Let's refresh our page here and click the cart icon and let's close the smart cart. And there we go. We got both of the carts to close. Now, our next goal is to hide the theme's cart from being visible. 
Let's go back to our smart cart settings and disable the code for now. We'll need to be able to target our theme's native cart again. Let's return to our store page, refresh a couple of times. Let's click on the cart icon and close the smart cart. Okay, perfect. Now we'll want to target the whole cart drawer of the theme. Notice how these elements are nested in the other elements. We want to grab the parent element. In this case, this div that has the ID of cart drawer should be enough for us to hide the native cart drawer. Let's go ahead and copy that ID. Let's go back to our smart card settings and re-enable the hide callback. Then, let's scroll up until we see the custom CSS setting. Let's click on this setting here, and now we'll want to write some CSS code to hide the theme's native cart. Let's do the following. Smart cart enabled, and since we copied the ID, we'll want to use the hash sign instead of the period. So hash, and then we paste in the cart's ID. And in curly braces, we'll do display, none, exclamation point, important. Nicely done. We should be all set. Let's go ahead and save our settings and return to our store page. Let's refresh a couple of times. Let's click on our cart icon here. And there we go. We are no longer seeing the theme's native cart drawer at all. Well done. At this point, you should have successfully debugged the native cart and the smart cart, whether your cart type was set to page or drawer. Now that your smart cart is all ready and running, check out our other walkthroughs to help make full use out of your smart cart. Thank you.